Next, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. And with the Six of Wands in reverse, this is um, excess pride, ego getting in the way, maybe a lack of recognition. Uh, it can also be a fall from, gra from grace. Um, this also talks about figuring out what your personal definition of success is. Um, you could be stripped of your personal power because you seek approval from others. And this could also be that you put an effort in and you're not getting back the feedback that you were hoping for. And this could also just be a private victory, something personal or internal victory that you're not sharing with others. Here we have the Three of Swords in reverse, which is recovery, forgiveness, moving on, a sign to let go and move forward. You've gone through a recent loss or breakup. You're recovering from that now. Next, we have the Son of Wands. This could be a person. If it is, it could be a fire sign, possibly, which would be Aries, uh, Leo, or Sag. Um, could be a younger person, someone 18 to 25 or 30. But um, with this Son of Wands, this is passion, adventure, charisma, uh, moving forward, leaps and bounds, being fearless. This could even talk about moving or traveling by land, possibly. Uh, it's also saying don't rush into things. You know, check in first before you make decisions. All right, next we have the Devil card in reverse. And this is freedom, release, restoring, control, you know, breaking bad habits, addictions, negative thoughts, doing a little spring cleaning, you know, um, self-improvement, getting away from negative people, negative things, breaking those chains that hold you back, whether mostly internally or it could be externally as well. Here we have the emperor card in reverse. And this is fire energy. This could be Aries, since Aries rules the Emperor card, but it could possibly still be fire, so it could just be Aries Leo or Sag, but if it is not a, um, a fire sign, it could simply just be someone who is a, per, uh, uh, I can't think of the word, parental figure, here we go, parental figure, or it could be a boss or uh, some type of authority figure in the sense, but this talks about chaos and anger and tyranny and coldness and abuse of authority. This is possessiveness from a partner or from an authority figure. This is someone, and it could be you or it could be someone else, that uh, makes people feel powerless. Um, this could be a weak ruler, someone who does the negative side. They go and use power to influence and rule people. <clears throat> and if it's not that, it could... Talk about avoiding responsibility, the lack of self-control, lack of discipline, and inflexibility. Also, can mean you're not grounded. Here we have the Justice card. And with the Justice card, this is truth, fairness, law, clarity, cause and effect, legal matters. Um, legal issues that come out in your favor. Um, this also speaks of using logic rather than emotion. Justice will be served. This is being called to account for your action. And I also consider this a balance. You know, bringing balance back. Here we have the Two of Cups, and the Two of Cups talks of union, partnership, connection, shared value, seeing eye to eye, connecting with others, creating relationships that are mutually beneficial. Next we have the Fool card in reverse, which talks about acting like a fool. Uh, disregard for repercussion of actions, living in the moment, not planning ahead. This is also a warning to be more aware. You know, maybe you're being naive right now or someone's being naive. This can also talk about your holding back and you're at a standstill because you're prevent preventing yourself from reaching a goal or from taking a risk or from doing something and because you fear the outcome. This can also talk about exploring this fun, playful, carefree nature type of spiritual feeling, um, embodying that on a personal level. All right, next we have the Father of Cups, which is water energy. So this could be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And it could be someone over the age of, I want to say 25 and up. But with the 
Father of Cups here. This is a balance between head and heart, emotional control, managing situations logically. This could also be a mentor as well that comes in to offer a guidance, usually about relationship advice. But um, here we have the death card in reverse, and this is resisting change. You're stuck in limbo. You're holding on, stagnation, halting, or stalling because of fear of the unknown. It will leave you with regret, and you need to embrace it. Here we have the Five of Swords. This talks about uh, disagreements. You know, picking your battles wisely, uh, competing with others to reach a sense of success. You know, not playing fair. Um, unbridled ambition, you know, trying to win at all costs, sneakiness, hidden agendas, unfair dealings, you know, watch your back. Maybe you think you've won and you really haven't, so be careful there. And this could also be um, conflict or maybe just simply defeat, being defeated or defeating a situation. Next, we have the Four of Swords, which talks about rest, restoration, recovery after a strain. Um, it's not a time to make decisions or to act on something. You need solitude to navigate a situation. Um, it's a challenge to stay still and silent to figure things out. So for me, the feeling I get off of this entire thing, that this is a time where you need to evaluate what's truly important to you, what you will and will not put up with, what is what let me go back and say this as I said what is truly important to you and what you value and not what other people value it's what really is meaningful to you and not basing that off of someone else's opinions or someone else's idea of success or someone else's you know because you can get ripped up in competition with somebody and you lose sight of what you originally go into this for and you lose sight of your own values morals and ethics as well so, I think you need to go back to the drawing board. This is going within yourself, thinking things through, trying to figure out what really matters to me. What's truly important to me? Is it work? Is it getting ahead? What is my true belief of success? Is it having a Rolls Royce and a $12 million home? Or is it knowing I have enough that I can enjoy life comfortably enough that it's okay if I just have a Ford Focus. It's okay if I just have a $100,000 house. It's okay to have those simple things but still be happy and still live comfortably and contently. So here with the Six of Wands in reverse, obviously you're not getting the recognition you want. Uh, you've put in the work. You've um, put in the effort. And it could be your ego getting in the way. You expect something and you're not getting what you expect. I put in the work. Why am I getting this? Or it could be I'm putting in the work and things are just not going the way I expected them to go. And sometimes you have to let go of that idea. I expect this. I expect that. And also it could just simply be that you put in the work and you're not seeing any results or you're not seeing what you want or you're not seeing it fast enough. And things just aren't going the way you thought they would go. And it has caused you grief, but you are recovering from this grief. You are moving forward. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to pick up. I'm ready to uh, push on to the next thing. You know, I'm ready to pick my head up and move move forward. Okay. And then you have this uh, Son of Wands, which is charisma. This could be that new sense of passion coming back to you that, yes, I want to pick up, I want to go forward, I want to move forward leaps and bounds. Um, you're fearless, uh, but it's saying don't rush into things. And this could be another person that you're dealing with. Maybe they have those types of things. They rush into stuff. They push forward. Or maybe you have this feeling of rushing. You want to get something done, and you want to get it done within a certain time, and it's causing you grief. could be that way. And it's just saying, I mean, you could be moving, you could be traveling, but this is that sense of adventure and charisma back to you, okay? It's coming back, that sense of feeling. And next with this, um, this devil in reverse here, with the devil in reverse, you're going to get that sense of freedom. You're going to break those chains of things that hold you down or expectations or negative thoughts or negative people or negative things that are around you. 
you're going to push these things away, these addictions, those negative things and people, and I'm, you're going to break away from those. You're like, I'm done with it. I'm moving away. I'm stepping back into the light. I'm taking control again. I have a renewed sense of power within myself. And restoring that control, releasing yourself from those things that hold you down, breaking those chains. And with this emperor reversed here, you need to be accountable for your actions. You need to take responsibility. And it could be, this could be someone that you've dealt with, or it could be that you are the boss, or you are the parental figure, or you are the authority figure, or perhaps someone else is to you, and perhaps you're wanting recognition from that person, or this is the person that doesn't recognize the work that you do. You're not, you're putting in the effort into this and you're not seeing it out of them. It could be this way. And in this sense, I did pull some clarifiers for that. And I got the Two of Swords. And with the Two of Swords, this speaks about a stalemate. A difficult decision needs to be made. Um, sometimes you can't see the problem or the solution. And you need to look at things logically and trust your gut. You don't evade it. You have responsibilities. Don't evade your responsibilities. These both say the same thing. Don't evade responsibilities. You have things that you need to step up to the plate for and take care of. And it could be, I didn't get the recognition before, and it's kind of, you know, uh, feeling like I put in the work and I'm not getting what I want to get feeling, and I feel kind of punished, and then you kind of slack off. But here it's like you have responsibilities, okay? You need to commit to those things. You need to figure out what the problem is. How can you find the solution? What can you do? you got to make a tough decision. Or either that person does. And it could be a mentor coming in to help you. But it could just be the situations feel as if they are... And it could not be a person. It could just be a situation feels like it's overbearing on top of you. And it's, um, uh, it feels like a tyranny. You know, like something's on top of you pressing down upon you. And you got to figure out what you got to do about it. But here with this Justice card... This is saying, with the Justice card, you need balance. You need clarity. You need to gain clarity. You need to seek the truth. You need to figure out cause and effect. And if this does revolve around a legal matter with that person, it could possibly be that you know people are going to have to be caught in their actions. And it could be that you are going to have to be accountable for your actions. You're going to have to take responsibility for things. And stand up and decide where you're going to go. How am I going to fix this? Let's get to the truth of the problem. Let's seek out the problem. Let's fix it. So that we can move on to an area where we are balanced. And we can see eye to eye. And it will benefit us on a mutual level. And benefits you on a mutual level. If it's within having to do with emotions and not a relationship. Whether it's um, romantic, uh, business, or just family or friend. <clears throat> so with this justice card, you know, it's saying you need to think things through logically. She is that way too. You're going to have to get clear about this. This is in the mind. You're going to have to be logical. And if you want to do this, you're going to have to be strategic. You're going to have to use methodical methods to get to where you want. You can't just slack off. You have to do the work. You have to put it in. With this full card... This could be talking about you're acting a fool or disregard for repercussions and you're living in the moment. And you're not planning ahead and you need to. You're not thinking things through or it could be this other person's not thinking things through. Either way, there needs to be what I call a coming to Jesus meeting. We need to sit down. We need to plan things out. We can't just be wild and all over the place and acting a fool and just saying, you know, I'm going to throw um, uh, caution to the wind or whatever. And I mean, it can be a sense that you are holding yourself back from something because you fear the unknown. But I did pull a clarifier and I got the Queen of Pentacles, which talks about maintaining um, uh, uh, compassion and nurturing practical and down-to-earth attitude when you deal with others or when you deal with a situation. Because this could have to deal with another person that's going on here. All right. And it could even be this person. If it is a person, it could be an earth sign, which is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And it could be ages, I mean, if we go by the traditional, it could be anybody from the age of 18 up or 25 and up. It could be male or female. But either way, if it's not a person, then this is talking about you need to be practical. You need to 
balance yourself. Okay, and this is again talking about this balance thing. You know, I can't just jump out here and be all willy nilly and just think, oh, everything's going to be fine. I'm going to take the risk. I'm not going to care about the actions. And it's saying if you want success, you're going to have to be practical about it. You're going to have to gain balance within your world and take responsibilities. You know, be responsible for your actions. And this. Another card I also got was the Five of Cups to keep you from the sense of grief and disappointment. And it could be that this other person's recklessness causes disappointment. And you were trying to help them be practical, or this person was helping you trying to be help you to try to be practical. I'm getting so tongue-tied right now. But with this Five of Cups, it talks about loss, grief, self-pity. You know, people may not be what you thought they were, or disappointments, and it's like logical mind clouded by feelings, you know. Unwilling to learn. You can't just be foolish. You have to really buckle down to get things done and you have to be practical about it. And you have to have balance so that you can learn from your mistakes. And even if it's with dealing with other people, dealing with them, show compassion to them. You know, even though they disappointed you, if it has to deal with another person. Then here with this Father of Cups, this is water energy, so this could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this could be you sitting here. But if it's not, it also points to a mentor. Both of these cards point to mentors. She also points to a mentor as in the sense of a teacher or counselor or um, mentor. So all three of these cards have that. But with this, this is talking about, if it's not a person, it's talking about uh, having a bounce between your head and your heart. Thinking things through logically, dealing with situations logically, trusting your gut, having emotional control, manages situations logically. And with this here, changes are going to have to be made and you're fearing a change. Okay? Balance is going to have to be made so that you're not hurt again. And it could be with this person. It could be a situation altogether that you're dealing with that maybe you were not getting the results you seek, whether it's job or a relationship or uh, an idea or a venture. And it could involve someone else. It could involve someone who's over you. But things need to be fixed and balanced out. And you're scared of the transition. But change is going to have to come. And you keep fighting against it. Don't fight against it. Embrace it, okay? Because with this... Um, King of Cups here, he can be the mentor. It could be someone's going to offer help to you. It could be another Cancer. It could be another Scorpio. It could be a Pisces. This person could be here to help you. Seek advice from them. How to help you work through this change that needs to happen. All right? Because with the Death Card in Reverse, talks about resisting change. You're stuck in limbo. You're holding on. You're halting or stalling because you're scared of the unknown. You need to embrace these things. Next to this... Um, Five of Swords here, this is talking about disagreements or battles or trying to win at all costs. Maybe you're competing with, it could be three different people. You could be competing with these people. It could be a competition at work and you're not getting the recognition you desire and you feel like you've been treated unfairly and people need to take on their responsibilities. And maybe you're trying to win at all costs or I'm not trying, you know, I'm going to keep at what I'm doing, even though I know something needs to change and this way isn't working and there needs to be some type of change. I need to transition to something else, but you could be fighting against it and it could be just because of a conflict and you may have to admit defeat here. You may have to literally admit defeat or defeat it. All right. Defeat the situation as well. And you might have to think light on your feet. You might have to come up with ways to get around something. But don't try to play at an, um, um, in a negative way. Don't try to win at all costs and hurt people. Okay? you got to check your values. You could be in competition about something. And you need to not look at it that way. Don't get wrapped up in something like that and lose your values and what's truly important to you. And I did pull clarifiers for that. And I got the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, which talks about self-worth. Um... Maybe undercharging for services or feeling defeated. Uh, invest in yourself. Not enjoying life because you're too busy hustling. Trying to make things work. Trying to win at all costs. Trying to do whatever it takes to get what I want. Okay? And that will fill you with regret. You need to release. Uh, releases, uh, release is needed for a particular. Uh, you need to release. Sorry. You need to. I'm trying to get it out. 
release the need um, for a particular income or standard of living. It takes away when you have this built up in your mind that this is what I want, this is how I have to have it, this is how I want to come to me and I have to have everything this way and I'm inflexible about it. It has to be this way. It has to be this way. And it's saying there's conflict there. It's causing conflict. It's causing where you need to stop battling. Okay? Because when you battle it out like that, and you have this conflict, you need to be more open to opinions, debate. Take time to listen to others. If you have somebody that shows up as a mentor, listen to them. Maybe they can give you advice. Maybe it's sometime you need to step back and say, okay, I do need that change. All right? And then with the Six of Swords in reverse, it's saying to you that there is unresolved issues. There's emotional baggage. There are uh, problems with resisting change. All of this is resisting change, fighting it, trying to get ahead. And you're struggling and you're going to have to admit defeat. Or you're going to have to defeat it somehow. You're going to go through that battle to get it, to get to where you need. Or maybe defeat this thing of resisting change or defeat what's going on. It doesn't have to be defeat in a bad way. It could be defeating a situation. Okay? And it could just be you're defeated by the fact that I'm not going to win at this and I need to back away and see that this could lead down a road that's not right. And I need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what's really important to me. And I need to take a rest and I need to take a break after this strain and figure out what's truly important to me in this life. What do I hold as my morals? What do I really want? What is authentic to my being? Okay. So I pulled some extra clarifiers. And with the extra clarifiers, I got the hangman. So things are going to have to pause. Things are going to have to come to a halt. And it's all to help you gain a new perspective. All right. Whether you're stopping or the universe is stopping you, things are going to come to a halt. They're going to have to stop. We're going to have to pause so we can figure out what to go, where to go next and give you that new perspective. And you're going to have to stand up for what you believe. And you may have to debate these things. And you may have to figure out what's important to you and what's not. And the ground may feel shaky, but you've got to defend what is truly important to you and not lose that. And you may suffer through some things and things may get hard and you may hit a low point, but do know people are there to help you and they will lift you up. Trust your gut and your intuition. Change has to come. You will have that awakening. Things will shift. Things will change. You will get rid of the old way. Be torn down and taken away. And you'll have that awakening and it will change. And then you're going to rest and decide where am I going to go next. Okay? End it on the same note. Resting, that defeat, breaking it away, changing it. This isn't working. Move it away. We're going to build something new now. Now I need to rest and figure out what I want and what else am I going to build now? What new thing is coming? What can I do? That solitude to figure out. Okay? 